In this video, we're going to show you how to take engineering software called SOLIDWORKS, design a part, reverse engineer it, and then actually 3D print that reverse engineered part to make our silicone rubber molds. So then we can go into production of a custom lure. Here you can see we have a lure that we've created, a small swim bait. Next, what we're going to do in SOLIDWORKS is actually split that piece and create locators in the flange to create the two halves of the mold that we want to make. Once we have the two halves with opposite locators designed into it, we're ready to 3D print. 3D printing is taking our SOLIDWORKS file and printing it on an SLA machine, which stands for stereolithography. Basically, the stereolithography builds up layer by layer until the entire part is printed. Once we remove the 3D prints from the machine, we clean up the individual pieces and we're ready to mold them. This represents what we would normally see in clay, but gives us two perfectly symmetrical halves of our mold that will line up perfectly. Now we simply make mold boxes, seal them, mix up our silicone, and pour the two individual parts. Once the rubber is cured, we remove it from the mold boxes, cut our vents and pour hole, bend our wire, and we're ready to pour it. We mix up our soft plastic, pour it into our mold. Here we're adding some weight using BBs in the belly. Allow it to cool and go ahead and demold. We pour these extremely soft so we get a ton of swimming action in them. Now we're ready to decorate them. Here we've used some Aluma dust for the belly as well as the Copic airbrush system that we paint onto the outside of the lure and then dip in soft plastic to put a protective coating and lock the colors in. Once dried, we're ready to put hooks on them and throw them in the water. If you have questions regarding this process of using engineering software and 3D printers to make production grade molds, give Illuminate Engineering a call. We'd be happy to answer your questions.